What's up Marina, this is Abhilash Thakur and welcome back to Sailor's Guide. Well guys, today we are going to get start with rule number 18 that is responsibilities between vessel. Mind you, this rule number 18 comes under section number 2 which is in sight of one another. So this rule will apply only when the vessels are in sight of one another. The definition of in sight of one another we have covered in rule number 3. You can uh, go check out the playlist of all rules which we have covered previously. And long story short, uh, in sight of one another means when the vessel can be observed from the another vessel. So uh, one vessel can be observed from another vessel, it's known as in sight of one another. Okay, so this rule number 18 only applies in this situation, not in any other visibility, not in restricted visibility. Okay, please mind this thing. Okay, let's start with the first line of this rule which is very very important that is except where rule number 9, 10 and 13. Okay, so this rule doesn't apply in rule number 9, 10 and 30. Okay, so 9 rule is narrow channels, second one that is rule number 10 is TSS, traffic separation scheme, 13 rule is overtaking. Okay, so except these three rules, this rule will apply everywhere. Okay, well A part is as the book says power driven vessel underway shall keep out of the way of first a vessel not under command second a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver third a vessel engaged in fishing fourth a vessel sailing okay so this power driven vessel whoever is power driven vessel out there in sight of one another condition applied this vessel need to keep out of the way of one vessel which is not under command second ram vessel that is restricted in her ability to maneuver third is fishing fourth is sailing vessel okay so power driven vessel need to keep clear of all of these four vessel which covers up almost all the vessels which are out there so normally you are the power driven vessel out there and you need to keep clear of all of this when the visibility is clear when you are inside of one another okay b part as per the book says a sailing vessel underway shall keep out of the way of the vessel a vessel not under command a vessel ram a vessel engaged in fishing okay so now in the previous a part we have covered that a power driven vessel need to keep clear of four type of vessel that is not under command ram vessel fishing vessel and a sailing vessel now you put this sailing vessel on the top instead of power driven vessel and you have remaining with the three vessel which are not under command ram vessel and a fishing vessel okay so this sequence we will continue over to the C part also. C part is about the fishing vessel which was at the last. Now we will put this fishing vessel on the top of the list and then we are remaining with only two vessels. That is not under command and second one is ram vessel. So the C part says as the book, a vessel engaged in fishing when underway shall so far as practicable keep out of the way of a vessel and you see and a vessel ram. Okay, so here as I told you that we will put this last vessel which is in the previous part, we will put it on the top and we are remaining with the other two that is not on command and a ram vessel okay so this is easier to remember and this way you can remember it for a longer longer time and we will jump on to the next part now that is about the vessel constrained by draft so as the d part says any vessel other than a vessel nuc or a ram shall if the circumstances of the case admit avoid impeding the safe passage of a vessel cbd exhibiting the signals in rule number 28 okay all right so they have talked about the vessel constrained by draft so except nuc and a ram vessel all other vessel need to keep clear from the cbd vessel cbd vessel means constrained by her draft her draft in relation to the depth and width of the water is so that she is unable to get out of the way of another vessel so that is a definition which is covered in rule number three about the constraint by her draft so basically what they say is that any other vessel who are out there they need to keep clear out of the constraint by draft vessel which are exhibiting the signals in rule number 28 which are light signals and shape signals well i will give you just a brief on the lights of cbd in cbd that is constrained by draft we need to put three all round red lights in a vertical line means that vessel is constrained by her draft they are deep draft vessels so now we will come to the second part of this d part a vessel CBD shall navigate with particular caution having full regards to their special condition. Well, now they have clearly said that when a vessel is CBD vessel, she should navigate with caution. She knows that she cannot deviate from the course. So she need to go with a safe speed and she need to be very cautious about the vessel who are around them. So she need to be very, very vigilant when she is out at sea. Okay. Well, it simply means a CBD vessel should also be cautious 
it does not mean that if she is a deep draft vessel she should go with full speed without giving regards to her duties no it is not like that she should give regards to her duties and she should proceed with caution okay and now we will jump on to the next part which is about the sea planes so they say a sea plane on water shall in general keep well clear of all vessels and avoid impeding their navigation in circumstances however where risk of collision exists she shall comply with the rules of this part well here they have talked about the sea planes generally sea planes need to keep clear of all the vessels around it okay but if there is a risk of collision she should follow the rules which are in this part so what they are talking about they are saying that a sea plane is a power driven vessel because she is propelled by machinery which we have covered in rule number 3 so she should keep clear of the four vessels which we have discussed and you see ram fishing vessel and a sailing vessel okay so these four she should so so these four she should keep clear and uh, this is what they are saying here that a sea plane need to keep clear of all the vessels okay okay now let's move on to the f part which is about the wig craft a wig craft when taking off landing and in flight near to the surface shall keep well clear of all other vessels and avoid impeding their navigation and the second part we will cover also a wig craft operating on water surface shall comply with the rules of this part as a power driven vessel well here they have clearly said that wig craft will keep clear of all the vessels navigating uh, nearby and also if she is operating near to the water surface she should be considered as a power driven vessel and power driven vessel always keep clear of the four vessels which i have discussed and you see ram fishing vessel and a sailing vessel okay so wig craft will keep clear of all the vessels which are nearby when she is operating near to the surface also while taking off landing and in flight near to the surface basically when she is near to the surface that matters to us and she should keep clear of all the vessels okay so here we have covered all the vessels whom should keep clear of whom here they have discussed it very very clearly well they have talked about the power driven vessel she should keep clear from four vessels fishing vessel sailing vessel should keep clear of three vessels fishing vessel should keep clear of two vessels and a constrained by draft vessel except nuc and ram vessel all other vessels should keep clear of cbd vessel however she should also proceed with the caution give regards to the special circumstances which she is going through and they have talked about the sea planes and wig craft sea planes and wig craft basically need to keep clear of all the vessels which are navigating around them okay so here they have discussed about the responsibilities whom will keep clear of whom and also mind you this rule will only apply when vessel is in sight of one another not in restricted visibility okay this comes under the section 2 of steering and sailing rules this i have covered this part which rule comes under which one i have covered in the first video of this playlist that is the content of rr please do watch this video because this is very very important and you need to watch that video first then you go on to the another videos which are ahead so this is all about the rule number 18 guys if you find this video helpful please press the like button and subscribe my channel also share this video to your friends and also do motivate me and put the comment below if you find this video helpful okay and if you have any doubts regarding ror or any other topic uh, related to the merchant navy just put it down in the comment box i will try to answer there and or if the topic is bigger i will try to make a video on it all right guys so i will see you in the next video this is abhilash tagore signing off